What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. I'm here in Eugene in the Hypership right outside of Mark Frommeyer's house here. We've got a couple Arkimoto's. Gonna have an epic day touring the AMP uh, Arkimoto factory. See what they're up to. Mark's right here. What up? What up, HyperChange? So I haven't been to the factory in two years, but I think they've been making a ton of progress. We're gonna be cruising around Eugene um, in an Arkimoto. We got one there. We have another one there. We got the Cameo coming to get some footage. Hypership looking great right there can't wait an epic day let's roll been in the works for almost a decade actually over a decade now but they're on the cusp of commercialization they've actually built and delivered about a hundred of these vehicles now they're in that crucial stage of going from this prototype production vehicle to scaling into mass production so these are actually production arcomotors we're looking at the reason why i'm such a fan of this car and this product is because i feel like it's it's a sweet spot in between a motorcycle and a car you know you still have these handlebars you can still drive it like this turn it, um, you know, you've got the electric torque, which no other motorcycle has, um, and you feel like more enclosed and a lot safer than a traditional motorcycle, um, but still getting that sort of outside adventurous feeling. So for a day like today, it's like 75 degrees, amazingly sunny, the leaves are just changing. Like this is just the dopest way to go around town um, and just have a blast. They gave oh, me the keys. What are they start, doing? Start over. Oh, this is actually my favorite piece of Arkimoto merch, by the way. This is made on the laser cutter at the factory. We're gonna check it out today. Also bottle opener, also keychain, pretty dope. So put the key in. Let's turn it out like this. I see the parking brakes going on. Ooh, I love this, the Arkimoto logo. So this is my dashboard center console. It's got all these kind of like luxury features, uh, butt warmers um, in the front and the back, uh, which is pretty nice. Cause you know, if it's at night, you get chilly. We've got traction control. We've got, you know, venting the windshield, even windshield wipers. That's pretty crazy. This is actually one of my favorite features of the Arkimoto is this double seat belt because you feel so secure, like you are just locked in. Good, nice push there. And right behind your left finger, mm -hmm. you've got a little trigger. Oh, yep, yeah, right here. Go ahead and pull that. Do both at the same time. Push out hard on the brake, pull on the trigger. There we go. Ooh, and there we go. So that, it kind of activates the cockpit there. Um, we've got 79% charge, 1,500 miles on this. We're in neutral, basically just like a little car, kind of. Uh, see the headlights, parking, and then I can click on the parking button here, uh, right? This is the parking brake. Mm -hmm. That's electric parking. So this is forward and reverse. I know this much in my Arkimoto. This is the regen brake. Um, so Arkimoto with two brakes. I'm going to be trying to brake with that to save energy. Go into drive, get off the brake. Farmer's Market. Close it up, just like that. There we go. Secure storage. I'll, I'll, uh, Mark's riding with me. Pro Epic. Protocol wise, yeah. Mask up for the Oh, yeah, yeah. Ride. Mask up for sure. Woo! This is going to be epic. Strap it in. So, this is where you keep your phone. This is kind of the ultimate social distancing machine. On the GoPro. There we go. Turn it around. So now you see. Yeah, I got the GoPro. Ooh, we're, let's turn on the GoPro. What's up? We're rolling on the GoPro. We're rolling on this phone. I mean, we're ready to rumble, bro. This is looking epic. Roll Arkimoto merch on. Uh, Look at that socks. So, uh, Arkimoto blue on the socks. Nice. I went all out. What up, Hyper Change? Mark in the back seat. Tour of Eugene. You're you're a Eugene uh, native, right, Mark? Eugene native. Born and raised. Epic. Got the Arkimoto team right here. We're out. Love life.
made it with the Arkimoto's. Only took us about 4%, 3 or 4% charge, so got 75% juice. So that got me thinking, honestly, pretty impressed. Went up the whole hill. Definitely going to regen on the way down to pick up some more. Dope. But um, run us through the stats on the Arkimoto. You know, what are we yeah. getting with this uh, fun utility sure, vehicle? Sure thing. I mean, we've, we've tested it to 102 miles of city range. It can go on all the roads, so it can go full speed. Uh, but we really think the sweet spot is... You know, if, you, if you think about the class of vehicles that are uh, more of the golf carts side, the neighborhood electrics that can go 25 or 35 miles an hour, I really think of the Arkimoto as a community electric vehicle. It's something that you can go everywhere for all of your daily driving. We're typically driving on average, I mean, the average in America is we drive 30 miles a day yep. uh, or thereabouts. And so a full charge on the Arkimoto will take you for three days of regular driving. Uh, it, and you could get a full charge just overnight plugging in. Yeah, you right? just plug it into a normal 110 outlet. Every morning you've got a full tank. Wow. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. There you have it, folks. Price People wise, have gone on the highway. Like, I th think your buddy Zubair, I think, wasn't he saying you went on the highway? Yeah. Well, and it's it, like, I was like, wow, like, I'm, I'm not taking the arc going on the highway. But people, yeah, they can, it can do it too, you know? If you're going to take your motorcycle on the highway, I guess you you probably handle it. And I, I you know, for me, I would say I, I wouldn't uh, use it personally for if I were commuting long distance every day. Uh, that's a, I'd probably want a bit more vehicle around me, but for getting up on the expressway, going down a few exits, no problem. Um, and the uh, we we did today actually just drop the price of the base model down to seventeen nine. Oh wow, so, that's epic! Congrats. Um, and, you know, we at nineteen nine we had kind of one option that was our evergreen. We've now put that full fleet on the road. Oh uh, wow! Or, uh, or within the next day or two, we'll have that full fleet on the road, and then. Now with the with the new vehicle configurator, you can choose all of your options that you want. You can do a much more, uh, you know, much more customized vehicle on the website, and that lets you pick your your color patterns, you know, potential for whether you not want the storage box, door options, all that kind of stuff. Cust there's lots of custom lots of custom options. customization opportunities, and what we've seen is that just a lot of our early customers have really wanted to personalize their vehicle. So we've got just this really fantastic huge range of different uh, different vehicles that people have chosen awesome can't wait to go to the factory Sorry for trying. yeah and, and, and the over time of course we want to have <laughs> higher range options so that if you are uh if you are doing long distance commuting or if you just want to go on awesome you know weekend journeys uh through the countryside you can the base model we see as a as a very capable everyday you know sort of workhorse that gets your all, you know, just hits all of your everyday needs. And that's really the vision of Arkimoto is to deliver an everyday electric that's super efficient, affordable, where we, we continue to sort of continue to drive the price down as we go up to scale. Love life, Eugene's a forest, check it out. Every, like every street's a tree tunnel. All right, just had to stop real quick here. Whitaker Fire, Whitaker, uh, all right, just had to stop right here. We're outside the Whitaker Fire Station, just like a block from the Arkimoto factory. And I thought it was so, this is one of my favorite stories about Arkimoto. They came up with the Rapid Responder, this deployable vehicle for fire departments. And of course the fire station right down the road here in Eugene is the first one to test it. They put out a video, they're so pumped. Um, it sounds like they're loving it, Mark. Isn't that epic? So we got we got a Rapid Responder right in here, right? Yep. Unless they've deployed it. It is, uh, yep, it's, this, is, this is the first pilot location. Actually they, have asked us now for a, basically a rapid responder deliverator combo so that they can run a three person team with a lot of gear. Wow, love it. Changing uh, Eugene, one FUV at a time. We still got 63%. We did about 13 or 14 miles uphill. I was gunning it. So really impressed to see that the range has basically held up to the true 100 miles here. Uh, I don't know, real world test. I'm, I'm very impressed though. We're here at the Arkimoto plant, AMP in Eugene. Look at that, another Arkimoto. They're everywhere here. The Arkimoto manufacturing plant, folks. I think it's one of the most exciting things happening in Eugene. Mark Frommeyer himself. Well, welcome to the, the man, amp. The myth, the legend. Woo! Thank you for having the Hyperchange uh, vlog squad here. You can see uh, point of interest is our inspiration wall. Love the inspiration wall. So uh, feel free to sign it. Oh. I think I actually already have. But I'm I should probably re-sign it. Uh, I'm like, damn, can I find where I signed it? Is that gonna be like ridiculous? These, uh, these 
those two vehicles I was telling you about here. I mean, this is like, bro, incredibly. Oh sick. wow! What's up, guys? I mean, Arkhamoto. This one looks like the hyper ship. This is my kind of style. I mean, matte blacks. This straight up hyper ship, right? Is this is this mine, dude? Thank you so much, Mark. Honestly, I'm dude, you sure. didn't, dude, you didn't have to give me one, bro. I'm, I'm you didn't, sure. dude. I'm pretty sure this is Joe Renna. He's, uh, he's the guy, uh, the, the banker who did our last three transactions. Oh wow. I, I don't think you'd appreciate it if I uh, wasted it off on you. Well, I like his colorway. Yeah, no, it's the matte black. Thing. Wow. So we're. This is the Arkhamoto production line. Yep. So it basically goes. You know, it's, the, the production starts at the front clip here, which is the whole front assembly of the vehicle. It goes back, gets built up, and then gets uh, married to the battery pack at, uh, as it makes the turn. Wheels go on, upper frame goes on, body panels go on. So it's kind of step-by-step step production line. Yep. And these guys, the, the team has just been, you know, as, as we're getting back up to speed, we've been just getting vehicles out the door. You know, this is the, the classic uh, end of the quarter push. So we're uh, we're pushing to make sure that we uh, we get we get all the all the goods out the door. And it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Like you guys you guys delivered what like twenty or thirty FUVs in twenty nineteen at a start or like what uh, or maybe just a couple. I want to say we did forty seven deliveries in twenty nineteen. Wow. We'll uh, we'll beat that by a big margin here in in twenty twenty and then. Despite shutting this all down. Yeah, the the, the shutdown and been back up and you know sort of standard production hell but uh production hell plus covid dude i have no idea what i'm looking at but this looks sick this is the stormtrooper stormtrooper oh dude this is sick i mean the, we, we work with a, a local paint so we don't do any paint at arkhamoto everything we do is is either just you know, uh, color impregnated poly, uh, uh, plastic, or uh, we just we do cut vinyl. It's just simple vinyl strip. But oh, like kind of like a car wrap would yeah, be. Yeah, but okay. with uh, and there are a couple of different uh, patterns that we do for the custom vinyl. But uh, but the uh, the team that we've teamed up with for for the custom paint, they just do a fantastic job. Oh, this looks really crispy. Yeah, getting a lot of inspiration. Wow, and this is this is some kind of touchless delivery thing here, right? Yep. That's you get your cool. care and cleaning instructions. Ultimately, like once we get that FUV Life site up and rolling, you'll be able to have a QR code on your vehicle that takes people to your profile and lets them have a referral code right off your vehicle. Wow. Left half is, 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 is part manufacturer. This, and what this used to be like some kind of R and D lab. That's why I'm like, ooh, there's gonna be something cool around here. Where is it? Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> so we, and, and when we when we first went public, this was our only facility, uh, and so we then you know, kind of moved engineering out to its own spot. Now service has its own spot. R and D's got its own spot. And the amp is all about manufacturing. Wow. And you guys have a whole parts warehouse back there too, yeah. right? There's a whole. So this is this is quality central right here. All of the uh, uh, quality uh, evaluation of, of incoming parts, and then there's a final quality check at the end of the line. Everything else on this side is part manufactured. So we we go from laser cutting of tube and sheet metal. Ooh, laser! That's the uh, bottle opener maker, right? Yes, yeah. It's the very very expensive bottle opener maker. Oh wow! Yeah, we're gonna have to see that one. This is the uh, we call it the, the BFL. For short, BFL, big fucking laser. <laughs> wow, look at that! You got that beautiful outdoors right there. Look at that piece of organ right there. Oh, hey, and is that is that the? Uh, no, that's not the vision. What is? It? it says vision on it. Well, that's the one. Wow, that's the RV that you did your road trip in. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, this is 
there. So much crazy equipment. So yeah, we say, they kind of in interesting that, that we managed to find a, a used 1999 RV named Vision. And that's what carried us, uh, carried us to California. And that, so you delivered our, this was part of the Arkimoto Deliver bandwagon or uh, caravan yeah, squad? I mean, sort of when everything was, was really shut down, I mean, of course, uh, interstate commerce and delivery still allowed, but we wanted to make sure that our team was uh, COVID bubble protected. So we brought everybody down in a motor coach, and that's how we did the, uh, the, the wow. Wahlberg and higher car deliveries. Yeah, a crane we rental business, we, we, like, yeah, right? Is that what it is? You know, Sunbelt rental, so they yeah. rent all kinds of uh, heavy equipment. And whenever we need a scissor, extra scissor lift or fork lift, we basically go to our neighbors. Next door, that's handy. Dude, that's yeah. sick. It's pretty convenient. Man, the Arkimoto, this is like, you're turning uh, some Arkimoto scraps into like artisanal yard art. <laughs> Something like that. These are, are half frames uh, that will, right now the, the only uh, significant hand welding that we're still doing is on the is tying together two sides of the frame that will that will turn into an automated cell here sometime soon arkimoto break room arkimoto factory it's rolled into break room for komodo kitchen Lots of great schemes in here, I can tell. Now I'm showing this little couch zone. I guess the chill break spot. It's just so cool to see Arkimoto start really scaling, getting volume production. Before when I visited, there was just a couple of them. There are prototypes. Now there's, you know, a few rolling off the line. They're delivering them to customers. Um, it's just, they've really grown up this facility. They've expanded to a few different buildings. Um, and I think to see them so seriously take on the challenge of manufacturing, raise all the capital required, bring in the partners like Sandy, be ready to work with them, you know, have their cultures work and fit. Uh, you know, this is truly a different company that was two years ago, really the first real EV company be beyond Tesla, in my opinion, to actually go beyond that honeymoon phase and get into produ production, actually have soon already almost hundreds of vehicles on the road. I mean, this is a huge, huge accomplishment. Um, you know, what Elon Musk says about there only being one automaker in the US that was built there from scratch that in the past hundred years that's hit mainstream production profitably. And, you know, so Tesla with an unbelievable achievement there. And now it's like, well, maybe this isn't just, a, it's not going to take a hundred years for the next one. Maybe this is a new era where we have a lot of these new transportation companies that are building, you know, the electric vehicles we need to clean up our cities. An amazing time to be witnessing this all take place. And I wonder if this, this factory I'm in right now, and this company right here, Arkimoto, is gonna be another one of those companies to break through that wall and really get to mass production and do it profitably. Um, and I just think, you know, driving around, everyone in town loves it, like the reactions, everyone's having fun. You know, you heard Sandy talk about how much he likes driving it. Like this is truly, um, I think they've found, are starting to find real product market fit with this. Um, and I just can't wait to see this this grow and scale. What up, Hyper Change? Another day in Eugene. Today we're at the R&D facility starting out. Rode a couple of Arkimoto's to get here. Now we're gonna have Mark show us what's going on here. This is a new building I've never been to, uh, expanded to recently. So let's check it out. EVs, these are our rides. Breakfast burrito approved. Nice. I got my breakfast burrito on it. So this is, this is the new Arkimoto service department. Uh, our, you know, keeping the, keeping the that. And then uh, the historical archives. Various different incarnations of seed. Getting the seed right is a, is a real trick. We'll get to that in a second. Whoa. But uh, this is uh, numero uno. This is the first Arkimoto? Yep. It's wow. The very first, uh, look at that bucket seat. Vehicle we built. These are the, these are the betas. Had a wheel. These are the first two betas right here. We, we'll, we'll get them all prettied up. We've just been busy. So which one are these two? Uh, this is, these are the two original alpha, uh, S what was then the SRK prototype, um, but uh, became the fun utility vehicle. So this is what we built in right at the end of 2015. Wow. To just prove that the idea worked and then 
Everything since then has been going from the uh, looks like, works like to reality, which is a big job. This room, so much potential. So much potential. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be our, our, our video studio. Okay. Dude, are you serious? Well, this is, studio, dude, and you guys got this lofted like control room. Slash DJ dance party space if we ever end up this pandemic. <laughs> Under very undercover R and D facility. Yes, no longer. Top. You thought Cato Road was secret? Oh my god. <laughs> Howdy. I want to introduce uh, Galileo Russell. Hi. Gally, nice to meet you. And you've met Sebastian, of course. Hey, what's up? Jim. Yeah, great to see you again. Hello. Oh, hi. Hey, how's it going, Sebastian? Wow. So this is this is the Arkimoto R and D lab. Indeed. So we this is you know sort of uh, where all where all the art projects start and uh, the good ideas become products. Wow. So what do we got here? Well, uh, you've you've got a deliberator coming together here. Oh yeah. In person. Hang up. Love it. I, you, you, what? Bro, this looks sick. Dude, this one looks sick. Is that like an Arkimoto without the top? Is that what they all look like? No. Or is that one a little bit different? It's a little different. I mean, So I'm kind of with you. A little bit more lumbar, but that's me, and that may not be everybody else. But I'm thinking a little bit more lumbar, and I agree with you more off the bottom, but once again, that's me and you. But it's, it's, if we take more off the bottom, we can always add more. Yeah. But you, in terms of like a pillow, but you can't ever subtract from it. So, so getting that. That's true. But if you add more to the top, that is that's the opposite situation. Wow, dude, this is so top secret. There we go. So, so where we don't let us get in your way. Doing well. How's everything? And uh, yeah, so this is you know, basically batteries get assembled into. I mean, you can't really see it here, but these these are the, the batteries get assembled onto into stacks here, and then print and we've this is one of our one of our patents is actually on a, a novel method of printing uh and interconnecting pouch cells you know ultimately arkimoto is agnostic as far as battery tech we want to put the best uh battery of the day in the vehicles that we build mm -hmm. uh, we just have an oversized pack uh location for a small farm vehicle but uh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this pack that we okay. that we built uh, and designed, you know, it's sort of it's a it's a it's a very good low volume production solution uh, to have a robust, safe battery um, that still packs a lot of energy in. Yeah. So these are the, these are the foils that come out of the you know the tabs of the battery, and then we have a crimped uh, hmm. crimped one would a, be a, a bus bar. So this, these, this, these jaws basically come in and crimp 
um, the uh, the three to connect them. Well, we we set we set a bus bar on, and okay. then that bus bar gets crimped from the outside, and that's really the the novel approach. Um, so, who's your battery cell supplier? Uh, a company called Ferrisus. They make a really sweet uh, pouch form cell. It's the same cell that's in the Zero motorcycle. So, oh, interesting. Um, and we have a similar packing technology that they you know, to, to to what they're doing. The difference being in how is, is really in how we do our uh, interconnects of all the cells. Yeah, I've been really impressed with the battery pack going really just even the Marco mode I drove around today lasting 100 miles basically and really sticking true to that range. Like yeah, wh very impressive. Wh where did you uh, where did you go? Uh, all over town to Nelson's Tacos. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. Yeah, Thank you. Ahead.